from San Francisco, it's The Cube. Covering OSI Soft, Pi World 2018. Brought to you by OSI Soft. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Francisco at OSI Soft, P, uh, Pi World 2018. Uh, we're getting to the end of the day. It's been a very busy day, a lot of great conversations and about 3,000 people here are talking about the industrial internet of things and IOT and, and really process improvement using data. They've been at it for almost four decades and we're excited to have a practitioner. He's uh, Tara Rana. He is the Digital Transformation Process Control and Systems Engineering for Barrett Gold. Tark, good to see you. Oh, nice to meet you as well. Absolutely. Thank you. So, a little bit of basics uh, on Barrick Gold, kind of who are you guys, what's your business? All right, so Barrick Gold Corporation, um, it's the uh, largest gold producer um, as of today uh, in the world. And we have um, about 13 operating sites across the world. We are headquartered in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Okay. Um, we are hugely focused in the Americas. Um, about 75% of our revenue comes from uh, from the Americas, so that's North America and South America. And then we have other projects and mining operations across the world, so Australia, Chile, uh, Zambia in Africa, Saudi Arabia, so uh, it's global. So you are, you're basically getting the gold out of the dirt. From the rocks. From the rocks. Yeah. And, and it's pretty interesting, right? We always think of the, we're here in San Francisco, right? 1849 oh, yeah. is when it all started. <laughs> it was a guy with a pan, but that's not how it works anymore, right? Now it's no. a big industrial process that starts with lots of truckloads of ore, and then at the end of a many, many steps, out comes the gold. Yeah. And we've heard it, a number of times that there's, there's so many process improvements that basically can increase the percentage of gold that you can extract out so, of that ore. So, and, and to that note, there are a couple of things that um, uh, that we are actually looking at. So, not not only um, uh, not only that, but also as we are uh, moving into the future, the gold grades from the ore is diminishing, and that's where I think um, I think we are in the right place because uh, we are looking at technology. We are looking at um, the buzzwords like artificial intelligence to help us in that phase because uh, I mean all the good grades are almost gone so to get that you know little gold that's in a big mass of rock we definitely need to um, you know uh, look at technologies. So uh, the gold the, the grade is the percentage of gold in per in, unit of, of ore correct. right because the, the, gold, the gold, gold itself is the same gold correct. once you get it out. It's the ounce of gold in that uh, uh, mass of rock. So gold mining has been going on for a long time but what are some of the, the opportunities for you guys to use software to basically get your yield up? Okay, so there, there are a couple of, uh, couple of things where we can look at technology. Um, so number one is safety. So as the, um, as the gold grade is going down, which, uh, which also means we are actually going deeper in, in the mine. So as we go deeper in the mine, that means it's becoming unsafe for people um, 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 operating underground. Um, so we're looking at technology, we're looking at uh, things like autonomous uh, vehicles, um, uh, artificial intelligence algorithms that can help us in, uh, in exploration, um, and then um, you know other things like robotics, drones, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the technology space is huge um, for us um, to explore to use and then to go to safety. Of course, we are looking at uh, reducing our operating costs, um, increasing productivity as much as we can, and hence um, you know, lower our ASIC, which is the all-in sustaining cost. So the, the autonomous vehicles is an interesting one. I don't think most people are aware how many autonomous vehicles operate in mines. I don't know if it's gold mines specifically, but I think we've talked to Cal Caterpillar before, and there's a lot of autonomous vehicles running around mining operations. That's the future, definitely. So right now we are we are we are actually taking a couple of projects to run uh, run these autonomous mines. But you see, you're right. It's it's not only the gold industry, but across mining and metals industry. Right. And then what is digital transformation in mining? Because we think of of big big lumpy assets that are made out of rocks and steel and rubber yeah. and, and you know heavy, heavy, heavy industry, heavy, heavy machinery. So what does digital transformation look like in the gold industry? So again, this is a, uh, and it's very interesting and also dangerous. Why I say that? Because um, 
I'll, I'll um, tackle the dangerous piece first because digital transformation is again a buzzword like um, we have gone through different ones in the, in the past. Um, what we are targeting to do through digital information uh, transformation is not new. We have, we have attempted to do this in the past um, with, with some degree of success. But as you know, the, the mining industry is a very cyclical industry. So when we were in the, um, in the, the peak of the cycle, uh, we invested a lot of money. Um, um, we did a lot of cool projects, but as soon as we moved into the downward cycle, um, the, the budgets were tighter, so we, some of those projects were taken off the table. But now what's happening is we are taking, this, we're taking, we are taking it back, um, but we are looking at this as, a, as an enabler. What that means is we are democratizing the, the digital transformation um, laterally and vertically, which means within the site and also across the organization. So we are, um, we are educating um, our operators, we are educating um, uh, the metallurgists and all, uh, all that because digital transformation is more cultural transformation. You know, we all have these uh, cool gadgets and um, um, a lot of these we, we use in our daily lives. But how we can use these effectively in the mining world? How we can use uh, things like uh, you know iPads, um, wireless technology, and bring that information, um, as I mentioned to you before, on the table um, um, of the operators, so that they are empowered now right. to make decisions rather than you know waiting forever from uh, for for their frontline supervisors. Um, their frontline supervisors to give them that information. Right. So now, with the use of digital transformation as an enabler, we're hoping that A, we are making it safer, uh, we are democratiz democratizing this, as well as uh, making decisions faster, efficient. So it's pretty interesting on the democratization, because we see that in a lot of industries. So basically giving the power, the tools and the data, to a broader group of people so they can make better decisions Correct. on the line. That's really the operator side. Yeah. But you said something interesting too before we turn the cameras on about transparency, yeah. not only at the site but across the company so that more people have more visibility into more pieces of the puzzle. Correct. So how's that been uh, been going? Uh, it has been going great so far. So what, what I meant by that was that um, the, the communities that we operate in, so Nevada in the, in the states, um, uh, Veladero San Juan community in Argentina, so communities like that. So now with the, with the help of digital transformation, we can also take this information to the community. Now they are more excited about, um, about what we are doing rather than being skeptical about um, us um, not sharing with them. Right. So uh, I think that is, that is going great. Um, the other aspect I should bring out is, is environmental. So environmental is a big piece, so safety, health and environment, uh, we live by that because that's our license to operate. So with the, with the help of digital transformation and by sharing this information with, with, our, with our communities, I think, um, I think we, can, uh, we can reach our goal and uh, bring everybody on board along this journey. Right, and I would imagine that ties directly back into trust. Um, Correct, with, yeah. with, with the transparency which I'm sure is a, it, the, this can be a big point of friction if you don't have that transparency. Absolutely. Especially on the environmental yep. side. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you here for? What's, what, what are you finding here at Pi World? Okay, so, um, and I, I don't know, I don't think I mentioned this, but um, along this journey, we're also looking for strategic partners because we cannot do this all by ourselves, right? right? And, and that was one of the reasons why digital transformation failed before, is we, we created silos. Um, we didn't want to collaborate, so we wanted to keep all the information within ourselves uh, um, and uh, we, we were not share, sharing the information, not, not, not only uh, publicly but also within, uh, within the organization. So, um, so w what my role here um, uh, in this conference is to, to, um, to share with, with, uh, with all our peers in the industry um, what we have been doing and also learn from, uh, from others what they have been doing so that we can collaborate and make mining industry in general 
a very lucrative industry for everybody and make it safer um, and productive. So I would imagine there's probably a lot of sensitivity in sharing some of the operating processes and, and I would imagine there's some proprietary technology in the way that you get your yield out of the ore. At the same time, I would imagine safety and environmental can only benefit the industry Absolutely. If, you, if you share that information. Yes. I, I would imagine that's not what you're going to build your competitive advantage on. No. And that's really more of an opportunity for industry sharing, if Correct. you will. So uh, the point about um, 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 uh, sharing information about uh, production, and yes, that is definitely sensitive, but um, I think um, what we are uh, what we are interested in sharing is, is the concepts. You know how we can do this digital transformation together, rather than the numbers that we are looking at. We are looking at percentage improvement. So even if uh, you know if if I can share um, share um, what we are doing with, with with my peers in 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 the industry in general, and if they are benefited with with, I think that's great. Yeah, for the mining doing, industry and, and, and generally. Yeah. Is the industry more receptive to that sharing than it has been in the um, past? Definitely, there is more sharing now, but um, of course there are still some hurdles, and I'm hoping that um, you know attending conferences like this will will make those hurdles smaller and smaller, and we can we can do better. All right. Well, uh, Tara, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes and sharing your story, and wish you obviously a lot of success on the safety and getting gold cheaper so we can all buy our wives bigger uh, sure, necklaces for Mother's yeah, Day is coming up, right? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you very much, and uh, I, I, it's my pleasure to share, and uh, let's enjoy the conference. All right. The conference. Thank well, you. thanks a lot. He's Tara, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE from OSI Soft Pie World 2018 San Francisco. Thanks for watching.